All right, what's up guys? Welcome to the vlog. So lots has happened within the last couple weeks. Where do I go? There you go. Oh, that's hard. That's crazy. Anyways, right now, just picked up the PS3 for my old crib. The remotes. This was my old PS3 handle. Hesher 69 420. So we got this hooked up. So we have no games though right now because the games are back at my old crib. We're about to go to the game store and check it out. A used game store. It closes at 7. It's 6 o'clock right now, so we're going to try to make it and pick out one game for tonight. Maybe two. Who knows? We'll see. Dad's make the world go round tea. It's like a $2 thrift. All right. This water bottle right here. There's 1.2 liters thermo flask. This thing is clutch. Everyday water drinking. Costco pickup. <sighs> little Nike. Little thrifted jeans. Little Asics. Put the earrings back in finally. Okay, okay. A little Margiela. Mm -hmm. It's the clock. Can't believe it's March 15th already. Is it March 15th? Yeah. Middle of March already. 2023. Holy shit. Time is flying. Does it feel like time is flying for you guys? Six days until spring. Six days until spring, officially. Oops. Crazy. Beautiful day. What's um, that one? Lego Marvel. If you like oh, yeah. this kind of stuff, you're gonna love Little Big Planet. Oh yeah, oh, I used yeah. to have it. Seven dollars and it's so fun. We just looked up a video game store in Vancouver and we just found this spot. Yeah, we had to come. Do you know how are. much, how many shitty reviews I have to positive, positively respond to to make sure that like we show up? Yeah. As like video game store in Vancouver, because a lot of people end up just going to like Best Buy, but. They yeah. don't do this, right? Yeah. Not everyone has like a thousand bucks to drop on their four hundred four year old kid, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's true, yeah. No. yeah. Actually I think I have like a star. So you guys own this spot? This is this yeah. is your spot. That's nice. My, that's my husband, that's my son. Awesome. <laughs> we have a house, but like we're here on this Yeah. Oh my god, the original. Are you hyped on this? I'm one? so hyped. If you know, you know. Brit got some crazy nostalgia looking at this. She had to get it. Literally, all the games were half off too. Yeah, that four games for 50 bucks. I've never even played this or seen it it's or anything. It's so fun. So. <laughs> and then what else did we get? This one, Borderlands, Ratchet and Clank, Little Big Planet. Having games in years. Yeah. It's been years. Time to boot up the PS3, get the games going. I, I love the Lego games, but have some at home and then skate three you know i got that put in the most hours in skate three out of any game ever beautiful night youtube youtube what's up all right y'all i gotta be real with you right now get real real here maybe you can relate with me on this but i feel like as a creative person, I always get in these like, I'm very up and down when it comes to putting work out because I'm always in this like perfectionist kind of thought process and like kind of overthinking, right? As much as it is good to think deeply about what you're doing and how you want to and how you want to put out work and if you're a content creator, put out content like for me, designing clothing pieces, stuff like that business stuff like it's easy to sit there and think too much and when it comes to like YouTube for example I feel like I've 
set an ex a high expectation for myself. I, I like to make good edits, but I feel like good edits are kind of subjective in a way because what may be good to me may not be sick to you and vice versa. If I think a video is not good, it might actually, you guys may actually appreciate it and want to see more vlogs and videos. So I'm trying to find this balance of like not having any expectations because I have these crazy expectations of like, oh, this video has to be sick. I gotta, I gotta, you know, make it like as high, high production as possible. I need to put in crazy edits. But at the same time, that's like super overwhelming to do every single week along with everything else that I'm doing with trying to get this rebrand off the ground and designing pieces and really structuring the business and like doing a lot of other things. So anyways, long story short, I just gotta stop overthinking and just, you know, put out more content. I, I really like YouTube and I, I, everyone that watches my videos, like I appreciate you guys cause YouTube, like you're always showing love in the comments and like, I don't know, it's really dope. So I don't know where I'm really going with this, but I just wanted to say, I think it's normal as a creative person to overthink things or an ambitious person to overthink things and want everything to be perfect. But I guess this is kind of a reminder to myself to just stop overthinking shit, put, put more stuff out, especially like vlogs, you know, pick up the camera. I got a camera here, I got my phone, I got all this gear or whatever, so I have no excuse. I grew my audience on YouTube from being very consistent. And whenever I go in these like funks of not posting and not being consistent, it just stalls, right? So it's not all about growing the channel, it's more about I wanna provide you guys with sick videos and, and content for you guys that you fuck with. So yeah, that's it. My little spiel, spiel of the day. For the YouTube. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's yeah, not. This, this guy <laughs> just finished 75 hard for the second time. He was gonna get a croissant. But didn't do it. <laughs> Dude, that's some that's some savage shit. We still on the routine. On the grind. Day 76. Planning is important. The most important part of every plan is to plan on the plan, not going according to plan. I definitely feel this, and this has happened with like so many of the big plans that I've set, whether it comes down to like clothing drops or like releases of training programs that I've done in the past or certain things that I've wanted to do. More recently, actually, my plan was to drop this rebrand that I've been working on for like over six months. So my plan was to drop it in March. It's what, March 16th today? And our production is in motion right now. Like we haven't even received the goods. So how are we gonna do a drop? Because when you receive the clothing, you gotta do all the photos, the e-commerce, the website, the, the release on social media, the just everything leading up to a drop. And then you gotta drop. And we haven't even received the goods because they're still in production and they still got to ship here. So, and I've learned this before with Health Hustle and my previous business. When I, when I did a drop, I wanted to drop frequently, like once every two to three months. And I remember there's a time period where I didn't drop in like eight months because of production issues. So, so that was a very important lesson to make sure that you plan, have a plan, plan doesn't go to plan. I'm literally designing for like the end of the year now. And I'm just making sure I'm super ahead when it comes to designing pieces. And yeah, like I'm trying to be like six to eight months ahead when it comes to design. I know some companies out there. You know, I have some homies that work at Arc'teryx, Lululemon, these big companies here in Vancouver. And they're designing for like 2025 already. And regardless of the industry, I'm sure you've maybe had this happen before where you've you've set this plan or set this goal and just shit doesn't go according to the plan. You gotta adjust, so it's a good learning lesson for sure.